So my name is Timothy James Taylor. I was in the United States Army. I was a 13 Bravo Cannon crew member uh, with 3rd Infantry Division out of Fort Stewart, Georgia. I was 16 when 9-11 happened and I remember uh, after that happened I went and hung out with some friends afterwards uh, that day and one of the guys was in the National Guard. He was talking about he was running to Canada and he was scared to go to war and all this stuff. And I just thought our country deserved better. Right after graduation, I was in basic training, 17 years old. Uh, by 19, I was deployed to Iraq for the first and only time. I was in Iraq for about 10, 11 months. And on October 27, 2005, uh, my vehicle was hit by a roadside bomb. And by 20, I'm in a hospital at uh, Walter Reed in DC. Spent about a year at Walter Reed, trying to rebuild my life. Right before the accident, I remember our radios were acting up and uh, something was just wrong, and something was off. And I knew we shouldn't go over this bridge before we crossed it the first time. I thought I seen somebody that looked like they were a spotter and uh, you know, everybody kind of just thought I was, you know, being a little baby or, uh, you know, being paranoid about things. The last, the last thing I remember is driving up to the bridge, and the next thing I know, I was waking up in a Humvee, uh, trying to identify. There was blood everywhere in the Humvee, and I'm like, "Where's this coming from?" I'm looking around, and I literally lift my hands up, and I'm looking. I'm like, "Where the hell is all this blood coming from?" And then it just, as I brought my hands back down, I seen my hands were, uh, both hands were just mangled. I was an angry child, I was angry in the military, and then um, after I got injured, it just kind of, not that I wasn't angry anymore, but it gave my, my life had such more meaning now, and it was like my second chance, you know, I knew I wanted to get married and start my own family. My name is Tara Taylor, I am the wife of Timothy Taylor. Um, so we were the, together for four months, we, I got to see him a total of like once a month, we talked regularly, except when he would go into the range. He found out, I think, a month before he deployed that he was going to Bad Dad. Um, I was very nervous about it. Um, Tara and I had been dating for only four months before I deployed, and then she stuck with me by my side. She would come up and visit me every chance she got. I would drive home and visit her every chance I got. But I had, like, a very strong drive that I needed to support him. He was kind of isolated from his family a little bit. Um, I think that was more for him and their benefit. So I was kind of the only thing that he was holding on to at home. When I first seen my hands, I was worried that I would never be able to hold a, a kid or play catch with them. The biggest reward for me, it proved to him, hey, I can hold my child. <laughs> um, that I can do anything that anyone else can do, and I can make a huge difference on this person that I brought into the world. I was referred to JCS by Courtney Boer. She was the substitute teacher for my wife while my wife was on maternity leave. Um, she told me about it, and I did some digging and shared that with him, and he was like, okay, okay. He had been kind of presented with different organizations over the years, and I feel that he just doesn't like the attention. I started thinking about it, more and more and realizing that I'm not always going to be here. I mean, I have numerous health concerns that, you know, could take me out of work any day. Uh, I just didn't know how much longer I was going to be able to work. Uh, my wife's been dealing with uh, some issues. I've had, like, breast scares in the past couple months, um, maybe facing a double mastectomy. And so for me, I was like, okay, we need this, possibly. We need this um, support. I also feel that he has struggled in the last couple of years making connections with veterans that are very similar to him. And for me, this organization was, gosh, would it be great to have somebody that's been through something. You know, I like the idea of belonging to a group of veterans that are like a family, not to an organization that, you know, services 500,000 veterans and nobody knows anybody and everybody's just a metric and everybody's just a number. So I was, you know, 
honored that she thought of us um, and honored that he, you know, that they considered him and nominated him. And I'm happy that he um, considered. <laughs>